That's the other team, huh? Huh? That looks like a robot. Isn't that cheating? But I don't know. Maybe he's some kind of robot-like person. Look, huh? Ah! Whoa, that looks like Frieza. I guess their universe has one, too. And that bear guy looks pretty tough. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Sorry, this may seem like a strange question, but are the two of you Saiyans? Huh? Well, yeah, how'd you know that? I see. So there were Saiyans in your universe as well? Still are. And I should know, because I am one. You're kidding me! You're a Saiyan too? Uh, uh, mm. No tail! Did you cut it off, or did someone else do it? What do you mean, a tail? Actually, the clothes you're wearing do look familiar. The Saiyans in our universe dressed that way in the old days before Frieza enslaved us. Frieza, is that a person? Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard that name before. Sounds like our history is different, like the two Earths. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. What's the name of the planet your Saiyans call home? Planet Sadala, of course. Planet Sadala? You're telling me that in your universe it still exists? Uh, yeah, you mean it doesn't in yours? That's right. What we call our birth world was destroyed in a civil war. After its decimation, we conquered another planet and called it Vegeta. Wait a minute, what do you mean you conquered it? Like you took it from another civilization? Yes, that's what conquering means. Don't tell me you have a problem with that. Your Saiyans are warriors, are they not? Well, yeah, we're warriors, but we don't take what doesn't belong to us. Other races hire us to fight injustice, not create it ourselves. Wow, your Saiyans sound like nice people. They're like totally different. Boys, do you mind? Huh? We do have a written exam to get to. I hate exams. Let's go. If we have time, I'd like to hear more about your planet, Sadala. Uh, There's no need to look nervous. We were conquerors in the past, but not anymore. Well, in that case, you got it. I'd be glad to. Of course, I won't show you any mercy in the ring. Oh, yeah? Neither will I. <laughs> what you see before you are simple questions designed to ensure you possess the most basic degree of intelligence. You have ten minutes to complete the test, score higher than 50 points, and you pass. Okay, I can do this. So the kid goes to the store and buys 13 breads, or uh, 13 loaves of breads, whatever. But on the way back from the store, he runs into three friends and gives them all two loaves each, because he's obviously a nice guy. No reading out loud or you will not pass. <laughs> then how am I supposed to think? Quietly. Ah, oh, what do you mean we're down to four? We haven't even started fighting yet. We couldn't do anything about it! Once Boo falls asleep, there's no waking him up! Trust me, we've gone through this before! I told you he wasn't a good choice for our team, but you wouldn't listen, would you? Don't blame me, you're the one that suggested the stupid test! <laughs> That's enough! It just means you're responsible for an extra opponent now! Lord Beerus? What do you want? I'm sorry, but we have to decide the order of our contestants now. <laughs> Fine. Monaka fights last. Use rock, paper, scissors to decide the rest. That works for me. One, two, three.